Those who are concerned about the progress of sea trials of China's first electromagnetic catapult carrier, the Fujin ship, are no stranger to the second warship equipped with a domestically produced electromagnetic catapult system. The Type 076 amphibious assault ship, which has an electromagnetic catapult installed on its flight deck. It will be the world's first amphibious assault ship to adopt this technology and is expected to become the strongest of its kind in all countries in terms of aviation combat strength with the help of electromagnetic catapults. In terms of volume, the Type 076 amphibious assault ship is likely to be the world's largest amphibious assault ship ever. The length of the Type 076 amphibious assault ship may reach about 260 meters, the width of about 47 meters, and full load displacement may reach more than 50,000 tons of displacement. If this is the case, then this volume is very horrible. Compare the whole human history, 076 type amphibious assault ship volume, just in the United States from the Sirius aircraft carrier, converted into amphibious assault ship Essex class a little smaller. The Essex class amphibious assault ship is 272.6 meters long and 58 meters wide. However, its displacement is much smaller than China's 076 amphibious assault ship. Full load displacement is only 36,000 tons. So the 076 amphibious assault ship in service said the history of the largest volume of amphibious assault ship may also attract controversy, but said that its displacement of the history of the first and the world's first, there is no controversy. In fact, Type 076 amphibious assault ship, this displacement, already than many aircraft carriers are bigger. Shandong ship as a medium-sized aircraft carrier. Full load displacement is only about 65,000 tons. Like India's domestic aircraft carrier Vikrant, full load displacement is only 43,000 tons, obviously smaller than the 076 type amphibious assault ship. India's Vikrant in addition to France's nuclear-powered aircraft carrier, Charles de Gaulle, also 40,000 tons of full loaded displacement, also smaller than the 076 type amphibious assault ship. It can be said that the type 076 amphibious assault ship is bigger than many aircraft carriers are huge. Its service will greatly enhance the combat power of the Chinese Navy. 076 amphibious assault ship will also be China's first dual ship island warships. Its service but also for the future of China's warships will provide more ideas for design. After talking about its volume, it is necessary to talk about what is loaded on top of the amphibious assault ship type 076. It is basically certain that if the electromagnetic catapult system of the Fujin ship can perform well in the sea trial work, the type 076 ship using similar technology will naturally be all right. What is certain is that the 076 amphibious assault ship will be installed with drones. In the 076 type amphibious assault ship before, the world in fact has a specialized drone carrier, that is, Turkey's Anadolu aircraft carrier. Anadolu aircraft carrier has been launched and has already completed the drone landing test in early November 2024, has been clear to go on drones. When China launched the Type 075 amphibious assault ship, there was a lot of hope for fixed-wing drones on the Type 075 amphibious assault ship. But the 075 amphibious assault ship is a straight deck and no catapult. It is difficult to take off and land heavy drones. So the 075 amphibious assault ship on the large fixed-wing drones has been an extravagant hope. However, while we are concerned about what kind of fixed-wing aircraft the Type 076 will carry, Perhaps we should pay more attention to an even more important type of equipment that the PLA will need for potential military battles in the future. Shipborne Heavy Helicopters Please note that it is a shipborne heavy helicopter, not a normal heavy helicopter. Understanding of China's helicopter industry should know that the largest domestic helicopter can be self-developed body is the straight eight series of large helicopters, the maximum load capacity of less than 10 tons there are still not small performance limitations. In both military and civilian, the volume to reach the heavy level of helicopters has a very clear demand. In the early years, China introduced four Russian Mi-26 heavy helicopters, which is currently the world's largest heavy helicopters with a proud internal load and external lifting capacity. 
However, it is interesting to note that in the project launched by China to jointly develop a new generation of heavy helicopters with Russia, the AC-332 AHL, this new helicopter is designed with a form factor and load capacity that is clearly an order of magnitude smaller than that of the Mi-26, which has been in existence for decades. Could this be a step backward? Or is it a compromise to make development less difficult? In fact, a more reasonable answer lies in the fact that this is China's consideration for the AC-332 AHL heavy helicopter on board. As we know, the Mi-26 is a very powerful helicopter, but it also suffers from a large size and weight problem, which limits its flexibility in certain environments. For example, the Mi-26 cannot climb onto the flight deck of an amphibious assault ship like the American CH-53 series of heavy helicopters, which can only be used as land-based helicopters. As the world's only ship-borne heavy helicopters, with the CH-53 series of helicopters, the United States has the world's strongest vertical landing type of projection from sea to land, which is a lot of countries can hope but cannot seek. Therefore, the heavy helicopter is not blindly the bigger the better, but with the actual use of the environment and the combination of combat tasks, and then determine the overall volume. China in the development of domestic amphibious assault ship. Not as many countries as the choice of 1 to 20,000 tons of amphibious assault ship but in a step-by-step -step manner, directly choose the size and tonnage close to the U.S. amphibious assault ship style, the development of about 40,000 tons of displacement of the 075 amphibious assault ship, as well as the larger amphibious assault ship type 076. Since the ship platform is large enough, it creates the possibility for larger shipboard helicopters to be on board. And since the CH-53 series of heavy helicopters can board 40,000 tons of U.S. amphibious assault ship, the 075, type ship, and the 076, type ship naturally have the conditions and ability to use similar equipment, and then get no less than the U.S. military's powerful vertical landing capability. Only a little bit of a pity is that the AC-332 AHL helicopter program has always been in the Dragon Sea the head but not the tail in the state. Although it is not like the C-929 long-range wide-body aircraft from the original Sino-Russian joint research into the Chinese single flight, that is, the project is likely to be still in the state of Sino-Russian joint research, but the relevant progress has always been very little news out, seems to be quite mysterious. Now, the domestic 20-family fighter aircraft in the new elite, that is, straight 20 series has developed a variety of ship models, 075, type ship, and 076, type ship probability will be equipped with and use this model. Then the next should be a good domestic shipborne heavy helicopters for some anticipation. I hope that the Chinese version of the I hope that the Chinese version of the CH-53 will be able to appear soon and install troops and then make up the last piece of the 076 type ship carried fleet of jigsaw puzzles.